Okay, resistance. Um, all experience, uh, I'm going to speak on resistance from a number of different angles. All, um, all experience is due to resistance. If you're exper experiencing time, uh, locality, the body, thoughts, images, fears, uh, this and that, duality, the, the only reason you experience um, these things is due to resistance. If you didn't resist anything, there'd only be infinite light, bliss and love, and no experience of anything. To experience something, you have to resist it. If you don't resist it, it disappears. Uh, 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 so it's your resistance that keeps phenomena in existence. Your disappearance, you, uh, your ceasing to resist, um, vanishes that which is experienced. So if you cease to resist time, i.e. stop being interested in time, then you experience timelessness. If you uh, if you st stop being interested or hooking in or believing in location, then you go into the experience of locationlessness. Um, now Hawkins, my teacher, um, talked a lot about physical illness. And I had so many, you know, life-threatening physical illnesses, kidney failure, organ failure, all kinds of horrific things. So, you know, through non-resistance, you can actually disappear an illness. Um, you see, like kidney failure, I mean, the belief in kidney failure, if you delete that cancer your belief that such a thing exists, then, you know, that that's, uh, you see, just to believe in that, you could say is resisting, there's a resistance. So you create the illness. So if you just delete the illness, then it doesn't exist in, in your thoughts. And then if you if you stop resisting the, the, the feelings, of chronic illness, I, instead of trying to push them away and, and not just sit with them and allow them to evaporate off until they cease to exist. Um, so it just means you, you sit for hours every day with exhaustion and don't try and run away from it. So, uh, when there's, I used to have gout pain, it was, it was absolutely miraculous, just like Hawkins said. They don't resist the pain, just be with the pain, allow the pain and 100% and welcome it until it ceases to exist. So you learn to cease resisting life rather than taking a painkiller, trying to run away, trying to put a movie on, trying to call a friend to get away from stuff that you don't want to experience, that you don't want to feel. You just let everything come up and then disappear until it ceases to exist. And then, you know, that miracle started happening. I got a transplant that ended the kidney failure. I sat with all the pain, with the gout attacks in my feet. And then the rheumatology department discharged me from um, uh, from the uh, department, I, I, I started to feel out um, my asthma, and rather than use the inhaler, um, I just allowed myself. It's, it's, it's okay to to not be able to breathe and die. Don't be afraid. Yeah, and then uh, eventually uh, the asthma attack stopped, and they discharged me from the asthma clinic. So you see, resistance. Uh, creates experience. If you cease to resist, all these things disappear because they don't really exist. It's only through resistance that illnesses, pain, thoughts, the body, time, all of this exists. If you cease to resist everything, you go off into a state of infinite light beyond time, beyond thought, beyond this world. So resistance. Now I say that, and I don't mean to be intellectual. I don't mean to be intellectual. People would probably think I'm just sort of rattling on a load of useless spiritual theory. No. You sit with the pain um, and don't run away from it. If it take, even if it takes hours, you you got to have spiritual courage and, and willingness. Uh, there's a lot of um, you know, like um, you know, um, you know, it, there's lots of spiritual and not spiritual traditions, even combat traditions where they transcend pain, they transcend, and and the miraculous happens beyond what. You know, scientists or people would think is possible, but uh, it's actually through uh, intense spiritual work, doing the opposite of what the ego wants to do, that you develop those skills over many years. So it's not; it's just not; it's not theory. Uh, resistance creates suffering. Uh, Non-resistance and letting things go. You know, you're off into states of more and more infinite states of love, joy, and freedom, even beyond this world. So it's a crucial question, and, and the art of learning how to not resist pain, not resist illness, not resist the body, not resist time. It's, uh, you know, uh, and, you know, Hawkins was a great teacher of how to do that. 
many non-duality uh, teachers teach how to do that. And uh, learning that as a, as a student bears uh, many fruits. So it's, it's a vital thing. If you experience anything, it's due to resistance. And, and there is an art to letting that go and doing the spiritual work around all types of phenomena that seem to exist, whether it's illness, pain, relationships, the body, time. Um, there are various uh, spiritual lessons uh, of transcendence that can be that can be used and, and taught.